Quitting diabetes medications can be about as easy as quitting cocaine. It has long been proven through numerous conclusive scientific studies that a strong correlation exists between obesity and the onset of type 2 diabetes. We know that obesity is the primary factor leading to type 2 diabetes. However, being obese is not in itself sufficient to cause diabetes, as there is no specific mechanism through which obesity triggers diabetes in every individual. There are many people with enviable seemingly healthy bodies, battling the perfect killer, diabetes. There are young, normal weight individuals complaining of continuous, debilitating fatigue that can't be explained by a passing cold or flu. Concerns about a thyroid problem or cancer are quickly dismissed through tests, but red flags are raised when the laboratory result for blood sugar levels comes back. The values are off the charts. The person is on the verge of developing diabetes. This is what we sometimes call the skinny fat syndrome. Slim on the outside but fat on the inside. There isn't a substantial difference between the total amount of glucose in the bloodstream of a typical person and someone on the verge of crossing the diabetes threshold. A healthy person will have just under a teaspoon of sugar in their blood, while someone about to become diabetic will have about one quarter teaspoon more. However, an apparently insignificant amount of blood sugar is enough to make a huge difference in the body's physiology, causing hormonal changes and fluctuations. When there's an excess of glucose in the blood, the body instructs the pancreas to secrete more insulin to transport the sugar. However, as the pancreas pumps increasingly larger amounts of insulin, blood sugar levels drop drastically. In such situations, you feel like eating anything, especially carbohydrates. You might even feel dizzy and tremble. If you gobble something to satisfy your primal need for food, blood sugar rises again, prompting another round of insulin secretion by the pancreas. The cycle repeats, and it's not a slow journey, but a highly violent one. Indeed, the insulin production system we are born with worked well for millennia. However, nowadays, the pancreas doesn't get enough time to adapt to the onslaught of simple carbohydrates from food nor has it had sufficient time to adapt to our sedentary lifestyle. Once you're on diabetes medication, it's very hard to turn back. Most people become prisoners in a self-perpetuating cycle. Have you heard of reactive hypoglycemia? It's a condition that might be the most credible impersonator of diabetes. After consuming carbohydrates, blood sugar levels rise to values typical of prediabetes. However, because insulin doesn't properly perform its function of transporting sugar into cells, the pancreas ends up producing 10 times more insulin than necessary. This surge of insulin could be likened to the detonation of an atomic bomb in the body. The effect is that over the next few hours, insulin levels drop to an extreme low about 20 points away from the starting point. This is when the person becomes drowsy. So you become unstable, anxious, dizzy, sweaty, and unable. In the intricate dance of health, every step matters. Embrace balance and pave your path to well-being.